Check out this gray and red beauty rolling through an almond grove in central California. This powerful Ford 8N is the pride and joy of classic tractor fan Ray Diaz. Drives pretty smooth. It only takes a little bit of Armstrong power to turn things though without power steering. This is a Ford Funk tractor. It's a uh, fairly rare and unique. It comes with a Ford six cylinder uh, overhead valve engine. Uh, Funk Aircraft made it. Uh, it was a 1952 model and Funk Aircraft uh, started making conversion kits. They made a few thousand of flathead sixes, a few hundred of the flathead V8s, and then they just started making the overhead valve six uh, cylinder conversions when their factory burnt down. This particular tractor has a serial number, so we believe it was manufactured before the factory burnt down. We understand that some tractors were uh, put together with parts afterwards that didn't have serial numbers. This tractor, uh, when I found it, the front half was, it was still intact, the back half was missing, but all the critical funk parts were uh, there and were, were in good shape. So working with my friend Don Doan, we restored it, and uh, uh, here's the final product that you have looking at right now. No doubt Ray has his Ford Funk looking maybe even better than new. Two brothers named Funk headed an aircraft company in Coffeyville, Kansas, and the story goes they saw a profit opportunity in boosting the power of Ford's popular 8N tractors. The Funk brothers um, were very uh, instrumental, mechanically inclined, and always trying to try something different. I understand there were some farmers who made some conversions initially, and Funk saw what they did, and they took up the idea and ran with it. The Funk conversions were very popular because of the boosting of the horsepower on these uh, tractors. You know, the original tractor had probably around 20 horsepower, and uh, with with this uh, conversion, this takes it. This engine here takes it from about 20 horsepower to close to 100 horsepower. With the horsepower more than doubled, the marketing promise was that a Funk converted Ford tractor could get three days worth of work done in just two. That might be a stretch, but there's no doubt a Ford Funk tractor did put a lot more pulling power at the farmer's command. It has a deep, pretty deep roar compared to the regular little four-cylinder engine, and uh, you can certainly tell it's a big difference in, from the uh, engine if you just close your eyes and, and pick it out. This particular tractor has a Sherman over-under on it as well, too. So with the Sherman over-under uh, transmission adapter, that really gives you three reverse gears and 12 forward gears. So it gives you a lot of opportunity to do a lot of different uh, uh, implements and uh, different uh, activities in the farm. Funk conversions with a flathead V8 or V6 engine were the most plentiful. Ray says the records show his Funk conversion featuring a V6 overhead valve engine was the rarest of the breed. The best we can tell this tractor is uh, per uh, Beeman and Peterson, they spoke with one of the Funk brothers and uh, the plant manager. Their estimate is that there's less than, uh, they estimate between 20 and 30 of these that exist. The Funk uh, brother and the plant manager weren't really sure. They said it was uh, a minimal number, but uh, Beeman and uh, Peterson came up with a number of 20 to 30. This engine in this tractor is a, a 215 cubic inch Ford truck engine. This was manufactured in um, Dearborn, at the Dearborn plant cast at the Dearborn plant. Uh, best I can tell is October 1951 when it was cast. Ford was building these for 1952 and 1953 Ford trucks. But some of these engines got switched over to tractors. Right here on the cowling, we have the badge that says Funk Aircraft from Coffeyville, Kansas, model AN. AN is the designation they had for the overhead valve six cylinder engine. So which proves it was uh, the correct uh, engine for this particular uh, piece of equipment. And it also has a serial number that shows up on there, which uh, I mentioned before, it was, uh, believe it was done before the Funk Aircraft fire where it's burned down their factory. With a closer look, you can see there were several things the Funk brothers had to do to make the conversion to a bigger, more powerful engine. This uh, Funk tractor has a unique oil pan where the oil pan is the cast uh, oil pan and it's the structural member that holds the front axle to the rear transmission housing. Over on this side, you get a picture of the uh, 215 cubic inch truck engine in there. It has a unique funk starter on it. You can't see it, but there's a funk uh, uh, gear cover in the front of the engine. Another part that's different about it here, since it's a longer tractor, we had to re the radius rods here are reconnected in a different location. Normally this would be connected back here, but, they, but part of the conversion kit is this uh, extension for the radius rods. 
And here is the uh, Sherman over-under uh, uh, lever for switching between the uh, different uh, drive ranges for the uh, Sherman over-under. This is a Dearborn uh, rolling hitch. I have two bolts in it right now to keep it from rolling, but you can see that it, with the roller here, it will roll back and forth across the 11 hole uh, draw bar, which you can makes it a lot easier if you want to pull a particular uh, implement from one particular position or another. Also back here we've put on, uh, you can see back here we put on Fresno, uh, what they call Fresno wheel weights, give a little bit better traction. Ray says Ford tractors were popular on the farms of California's Central Valley and he's always had a soft spot for Fords. Well, I grew up on a two, uh, Ford 2N uh, along with a couple other tractors, an uh, International and uh, a Massey uh, Ferguson. Uh, but I spent most of my time in the Ford 2N, so, you know, from the time a person was a little boy working on the farm, that was it. Even though I moved away and had a career elsewhere, you never get it out of your blood. And it's pretty clear this Ford Funk farm tractor has got a hold on Ray that will never fade away. Besides it being a, a unique tractor, uh, uh, it's, it's one of the things that uh, uh, people have interest in because it's a classic tractor and it's uh, a little different than the normal run-of-the-mill tractor. And at this point, you know, I have a tractor that I can uh, share with my grandsons and we have a lot of fun with. That's all part of it. You know, you're being a classic having a classic tractor fever in your blood, you want to preserve the history and enjoy it at the same time. Hey, thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube. You can also find even more videos and branded merchandise on our website, ClassicTractorsTV.com.